What's up, traders? It's Mark Sebastian, your only option. Today, we're talking how Apple is at the crux of this market sell-off and how it could cause the VIX to go back over 40. So with that, let's dig in. All right, so on Monday, we saw the VIX absolutely blow up. In the overnight session, it got as high as 65. Really, from a trading perspective, probably call it 55. Pulled back and then closed at about 38. You can see that big pop. Well, what caused that? Well, by now you're aware it is the yen carry trade. So what is the yen carry trade? One more time. I borrow money at a low rate uh, and I buy yen. All right, then I convert that yen all right, into USD, and I can buy treasuries. Now, if I really want to ramp things up, I post those treasuries, which are good as cash, and I go out and buy something like Bitcoin, NVIDIA, Microsoft. But the big one I think they're buying, or we're buying, is Apple. Why Apple? Pays a nice dividend. Generally, relatively low volatility. Considered the bellwether stock everybody was buried into apple in this yen carry trade and you're saying mark how do you know that well over the weekend the news came out that warren buffett had dumped half of his apple position apple opened up down but look at what apple did on the open on monday it's on its low it was down over 11 percent you think the news of Warren Buffett selling half his position is dropping Apple 11%? No. This was part of the unwind on that carry trade. Traders had to sell Apple to get the cash back so that they could unpost their treasuries, dump the treasuries, and then unload their yen. That is what was causing Apple to absolutely get crushed. Once everyone was out of it, you see it did stabilize, got back above 200, and has basically been kind of in place. Now, it's had a nice little run on Wednesday, closing 210. At one point, it got as high as 214-ish. But I think that is an opportunity. It is an opportunity because if things, if the pressure continues to build, in the yen and there is a stock symbol if you want to follow called fxy that tracks uh how the yen is performing here's the six month chart and you can see that um it had this huge spike up and this was what caused that carry trade to kind of blow up this move from 60 up to 65 absolutely murdered people using this carry trade. Well, it pulled back a little bit on Tuesday that allowed the market to rally. Pulled back again on Wednesday and that allowed the market to continue rally, but then it started to find a bid and that caused the market to drop. It also caused Apple to weaken up. Another piece of this puzzle is TLT bonds. There was a really bad bond auction. Why? Well, you don't have the carry trade, less traders to buy bonds to collect that interest rate. That softens things, that softens up the bond market. You match up that bond market with the sell-off, they almost line up. So, how does Apple the bellwether cause the market to tank? Well, Apple is the only one of the MAG7 that has not broken its 150-day its moving average. The only one. Why? There's still people in it. There's still people in it. If the yen soften, continues to soften up and, there continue, and the, the Bank of Japan makes more actions to try and prop up the, their, their currency, back to FXY, then you're going to see the rest of that carry trade unwind. When that trade unwinds, Apple is going to get smoked. 
where can Apple go to? Apple could easily get back to 190, which would be right where the kind of 150 and the 200 day moving average line up. I would say that would be a level where it starts to look interesting. Now, Apple selling off, just getting dumped like that. There is no way the largest company in the world uh, can't get dumped and the S&P 500 not sell off. You can see the SPX continues to look soft, closed right on the 150 day moving average. We see this carry trade get unwound more. Apple get dumped. What happens? S&P tanks. VIX blows up. Where could VIX go to? Now, I firmly believe this, we're not going to see 65 again, but are we going to potentially see a break back over the close on Monday? Probably. I think we are before this is done, you're going to see a 40 or a 45, maybe even a 50 VIX with the S&P selling off maybe toward its 200 day moving average down at 5,000. It gets down to that level. That's the area I start to get really interested in going along because that'll tell me that that carry trade, the pressure that's applied to the market has pushed things sufficiently south that everybody is being forced to unwind. Now in that process, what you'll see is volatility blow up. You'll see futures term structure continue to stay in backwardation, which we're in. When we're in backwardation, market returns are negative. So if we stay in backwardation and the mark, and we do see that carry trade get unwound, all hell is gonna break loose for a couple of days. Should be a lot of fun. You'll see vol, blow, you'll see vol get a lot higher. You'll see the S&P fall and the loser will be Apple. Now, how do I know people are worried about this? I'm seeing a lot of cheap put buying in Apple. I'm talking 10, 15 bucks out of the money for Friday and next Friday. So there are people buying cheap, cheap puts in Apple because they're worried that that stock is going to get slammed. So how do you prepare? Well, in Apple, cheap, these cheapy out of the money puts are there. There are inexpensive options on a relative basis in Apple that make some sense. The big, the big ones they were buying, and look at all the put buying here, all right, relative to calls for Friday. Um, if you look at the action from Wednesday, 215 calls were busy, but really you've got the 210s, the 207s, the 205s, 202.5s, and the 200s. Those were all being scooped. Same thing for next week. Look at the action on the 200, call, on the 200 puts, 33,000 of them going up. That is how we know that the smart money is hedging Apple because they believe that when that trade gets unwound, Apple's going to tank and it is going to tank the S the S and P with it. I have my traders prepared. I hope you're prepared. How do you get prepared? You join us at Option Pit uh, and give us a call 888-872-3301. My VXX trade I still haven't executed. When this eventually does blow up my VXX trade, I'm going for 200% now because of this vol blow up. I think I'm going to do great. Um, I also may dabble in UBXY and UVIX when the opportunity arises. But uh, I think we've got at least one more big push lower, and it's going to be coming from Apple. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your trading week. I am Mark Sebastian. I am your only option. Have a good one.